Today we're going to be talking about spaced education, which is not some Star Wars concept. It's actually one of the most well-proven learning techniques that's been identified in the educational research that's been conducted over the last 100 years. Spaced learning is about designing courses and curriculums across time in a way that maximizes the learner's retention and comprehension of the material. The, um, the duration that is ideal for spaced learning is 10 to 20 percent of the total length of time you want the learner to retain the material. So that, for example, if you want your student to retain content for 10 years, then you should be revisiting that material every one to two years, which is 10 to 20 percent of 10 years. Spaced learning is important because students only have so much time a day to learn. They only have so many days a year to learn and we want to make sure that every learning session for every student is maximized so that their learning is as efficient and effective as possible. That's our obligations as educators. Unfortunately, learners don't understand the benefit of spaced learning. In fact, some studies have shown that even after learners have experienced the benefits of spaced learning, they don't realize that their memory actually was improved or that their comprehension increased. And that's one of the reasons why it's so important for educators to train their students to use spaced learning. We have to make sure that they know the benefits of spaced learning in addition to us designing our curricula and our courses around the space learning concept. The current crisis in legal education is giving us a tremendous growth opportunity. We can redesign our curricula to benefit our students and we can redesign our courses to benefit our students and maximize their learning. We know by looking at pedagogical research that some methods work better than others. Space learning has been identified as one of just a handful of high utility learning methods and it's important for legal educators to embrace space learning as they redesign their curricula and redesign their courses in response to the current crisis. I care about this because I know that right now law schools are not delivering the best education that we can for our students. Law school costs students on average $35,000 a year approximately and they deserve the most effective, efficient uh, educational experience possible. We're professional educators and we owe it to give our students their money's worth. This is the beauty of spaced education, it, that you can see this at Harvard Medical School, that you can see this at places like other graduate schools, but right now we're not utilizing it in legal education. It's time for legal educators to also go ahead and follow the research and try and embrace the methods that we know work and that other graduate school educators are using in their programs. What we need to do is to challenge legal educators to move away from tradition, to move away from habits, and start to be driven by uh, education methods that are supported by the scientific research. That's what we owe our students, and that's what we need to start doing.